you know, I like to start out by saying all praises to the Most High God for just getting the opportunity to preach this message to you guys because it is such a blessing. It is such a blessing, man. Okay, we're going to get right into our topic today. And that is uh, Asteroid 2012 TC4, a series of unfortunate events. A series of unfortunate events. So, Asteroid 2012 TC4 is to fly by at 10.48 uh, p.m. California time and 5.42 Universal time. And that's funny because I kept seeing the number 112 and the only thing I could think of was the group 112. But it turns out 112 is an hour and 12 minutes before Friday the 13th in which TC4 asteroid flies by on Thursday the 12th around 1048 giving it about an hour and 12 before the, sh the stroke of midnight you know that's that's crazy so I was like well, why did God keep sending me this sign like 112 you know uh, I wasn't really liking that group anyway anyway I believe 100% they can track or even I mean I believe 100% they can't track or even know the distance or how close this asteroid will get to the earth or even if it's going to hit. I believe 100% they don't know. And that's what makes this dangerous right here. They don't know. Uh, they want to uh, try to attach some kind of satellite or something to it. You know, probe or something. Uh, so they could they could track and monitor it as it flies by and so they're ready to shoot out something you know but this thing may just hit and then you're not shooting out anything you know what I mean and if you need to shoot out something to track it that tells me that you're not tracking it and you don't know uh, it ain't gonna hit precisely it ain't gonna even come precisely so we should be looking for it around 9 o'clock, 10, 11, or even 12. It may even come later. Or it may even come 5 o'clock the next morning. Who knows? You know. Uh, never trust NASA. Never a straight answer. Never trust NASA or man. You know. Uh, we, we will see what God is going to do with this. And so. Um. Genesis 1 14 and God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs for season and for days and years so these things are signs you know this asteroid is a sign it's important it's like Christians are freaking out about everything right now and they are and they are and why because too many signs have popped up too many you know and then basically a lot of freaked out panicked people start setting dates you know when the Bible clearly tells you you know nobody knows the, the hour you know nobody knows not not the, not the Sun not the angels not anybody you don't know the hour and so uh, basically people are trying to guess at this hour and it's, it's, it's stupidity at its finest and then people you know, because I even mentioned it, people say, well, you guessed at the hour, because I just mentioned it. It's just insanity, you know. Uh, Acts 2, number 19. And I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs in the earth beneath. So, now we're seeing these wonders, you know. We're seeing things up in the air that we have never seen before in life. You know, that's unexplainable. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there about things in the clouds, things that look like angels, uh, weird lights, everything else. I'm pretty sure you guys seen all that too. Uh, yeah, unexplainable. You know, and then here's a funny thing. We see all these unexplainable things and we just carry on as if you're going to live forever. You know, like this, this can't be uh, destruction at its finest. You know, okay. We saw it, you know, it's just like you saw some movie and then you went home after that. Uh, Matthew 16, 3. And in the morning, said Jesus, it will be foul weather today. 
where the sky is red and lowering and, and, and that is the case right now. Oh you hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the time. And so the hypocrites is like really look at my video man. I mean I'm showing definite signs and the biru definite signs of this and definite signs of that i mean it's undeniable it's right in your face i'm showing i'm showing it multiple 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 times you know it's clear uh, the, the clearest video that i could show you and they'll be right on that page denying it because they're hypocrites you know and then you know the believers or even people that's trying to get into it They'll come and listen to the people that's denying it and go follow them, you know, and lead them away. And I, I seen, and that, that's the, it disturbs me that, you know, a person is getting into it, you know, and and basically they learning and then all of a sudden they disappear. They don't come back because something turns them off, you know. And and when you're getting into it and you've been a sinner, the devil just works on you, man. And he's just gonna keep working on you till you turn back to hypocrisy, back to the world. And that's all he's working on. He's gonna work on you to make you not believe, like God said, seeing that you may not see and hearing that you may not hear. That's that's what he's doing. So you saw it but you didn't see. And then you heard it but you didn't hear. Okay. A question that I would have is where will Donald Trump be on the twelfth of October when this is about to go down? you know so I look that up and they say the latest on the president Donald Trump and Iran all times local officials say the White House has uh, intentively uh, scheduled Donald Trump speech for October 12th in Washington but even though he is scheduled will he be there is he going to show you can be scheduled I can be scheduled to, to meet in Iran tomorrow you know but am I going to be there you know especially if I know something going down so why am I mentioning Donald Trump because it's important to know where the president is you know and, he, and when some, something like this is getting ready to happen where is the president because he seemed a little too happy when he was throwing up those uh, satanic signs the other day saying that something is going to happen and he drew some fake eye out and said you know you, you're going to see you know he's speaking all that spooky shit so where is he going to be so he's scheduled to speak at the White House in Washington uh, but will he be in hiding somebody please let us know if he made that meeting because if he didn't make that meeting everybody should be bracing for an impact if you heard Donald Trump did not make the meeting to embrace for shock you know what I mean that's what they used to tell us on the, the, the ships in the Navy uh, brace for shock <laughs> shock you know why do I say a series of unfortunate events in the title and why is this asteroid so important well because if that asteroid hits it will be the sign of Revelation 9-1 which states and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from the heavens onto the earth and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit so that thing is going to strike so damn hard that it's going to open up a volcano even if it did it at sea and you didn't even see it it's going to do it so it's like oh there's no problem it, it hitting the waters at sea oh it's a huge problem because a series of unfortunate ev events is going to unfold right after that thing hit it's going to get terrible on this earth and he opened up the bottomless pit and we know that to be hell you know you can't open up hell and it don't be some big huge problems and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit you sing, you sing, slime, you sing, you sing. I used to love when they talk like that in the old movies. I like watching those old movies. I haven't watched movies in a long time, but I like to watch their movies from 1930 and 20s and 
I love those old movies. I like the way people talked and dressed. And you know why? Because it, they seem real. They seem real. It seem like this is how they actually were. All these people today are superficial and they frauds. You know, copying. Everybody wears a mask. And I just like to watch those because it seemed like people didn't wear a mask. If you was a snake, you was known as a snake, and everybody knew you were a snake back then and if you were gay everybody knew you was gay if you were straighter usually everybody knew what was going on if you was a slut everybody knew you know and uh and men acted a certain way men acted like men and women acted like women i, I just say that and I, I love to see that man you know i, I love, love to watch those um oldie but goodie movies anyway back on doomsday yeah, everything is doomsday now because we're reaching the end and that's why everything is doom and gloom. You know, it ain't supposed to be a happy event. It's up to the believers. Because, you know, you're returning to your Lord and hopefully he got some good news for you. Um, so, if the bomb was put is open, it's thus marking, in, uh, marking doomsday. And what else makes it creepy? is that it comes about an hour before Friday the 13th on a Sabbath day. That's what makes it very creepy, boy. It makes it very creepy. Everybody get down! It's coming! Yeah, it's very creepy. Question. I don't know if you're noticing it, but there's a lot of iron oxide in our air where our, our I mean, the air is purple and pink. I ain't gonna even say it's clouds. It's clouds of purple and pink iron oxide in our air. It's like black, purple, and pink all around us, you know. And uh, I just wonder if it's this much iron oxide in our air, uh, are people getting sick around you or complaining of strange symptoms like chest pains or they have a call for runny nose and things like that? Um, leave your answers in the comments and thank you for watching Raptor News.